Smart meters are very similar to the electricity meter and gas meter that you would have in your home today. The difference is that they communicate. So this is an electricity smart meter, this is a gas smart meter, this is a communication hub to allow consumer data to pass through to an in-home display so the consumer can see it, or to link out to an application that consumer might have on a, an iPad or a smartphone. And that lets the consumer see, or the small business or the large business, see much more about their energy consumption. The meters themselves are just the first part of getting to a smarter grid that allows homes and businesses and our vehicles and the, the whole consumption pattern to fit with a long-term, sustainable and secure energy platform for the UK. Household consumption of electricity, gas and water is being measured thanks to smart metering technology. Smart meters can save consumers money, but critics say their use raises privacy and data protection issues. So how is the technology transforming the energy sector? Well, joining me now to talk about it are Mark England, Smart Metering Infrastructure Director at British Gas, and Brian Glick, Editor-in-Chief of Computer Weekly. Mark, if I could start with you, what impact is smart metering technology having on the energy sector? Well, smart metering is transforming the relationships between energy suppliers and the consumer. British Gas has almost got a million smart meters already out there with customers, and it's reduced the number of complaints by 40%. So at its core, smart metering gives consumers accurate bills, no need for a meter reader to come into the home or the business, and certainty and transparency about what they're consuming. Now, obviously, the amount of data being collected is vast. How will utilities like British Gas um, make use of the, of the amount of data they're able to collect? So that depends on what the customer wants. So the government have, um, as part of the mandate, said that as a, the default position is that energy suppliers can only poll one read from the smart meter per month. If customers decide to opt out of that, it would be one read per quarter as a minimum. But if they decide to opt in to half hourly data, that's when it gets really exciting and that's when we can do some interesting things for them. So British Gas is already launching um, Personal Energy Insight, which is a, a report that's both online and on paper that consumers can see when they're consuming the energy they, they, they've been consuming. And it, it's going to give them the insight, the transparency, the clarity and the control that they need to really manage their energy consumption. Now, Brian, if I could bring you in now, what are the... Uh, privacy and the data protection implications of all of this, do you think? Mm. I, as with so many of these sort of projects in, in the digital age, there's a there's a good and a bad side to it. Um, as Mark's explained, you know, uh, having access to all that data can allow uh, them to deliver innovative new services, new tariffs, personalised services to people. Um, but at the same time, when somebody is gathering that amount of information, you can derive a lot about your lifestyle from it. You can work out when you go to bed, what time you get up. You can work out what times you'll typically um, at work, you know, when, when you leave in the morning, when you, when you come back at night. Um, clearly, you know, in the wrong hands or, or misused in some way or other, um, some people will be very uncomfortable about people knowing that level of, that level of inf information about them. So it's always about trying to get that balance right. And it's still a big project in early days. Uh, rollout across Europe has mm. been pretty patchy in places. Um, what are the big problems, do you think, in, in making such a big project work? Uh, the biggest problem really is scale as much as anything. This is a huge project. I've seen figures are talking about £20 billion pounds in total. Uh, and it's not just all of the energy companies like British Gas who are having to do something like installing smart meters. The government is having to set up a, a um, communications infrastructure for all the smart meters to be able to send information, having to set up big IT, IT systems to store all the information that, that, that will be gathered. Um, so the, the biggest challenge is just how big, how complex, how many different organisations are involved in trying to make this work. And Mark, a final question for you. Um, how much potential is there for new services and innovation uh, just out of the amount of data that you're able to gather, do you think? Once the meters are on the wall, they are really just the start of the journey. We'll also be introducing time of use tariffs, which will incentivise consumers to use energy at different times of the day. And we all know the, the nation is facing an energy crunch where electricity generation is potentially going to peak out in 2020 and we're going to be short on supply. There's been lots made of that. Per, being able to move the demand in line with the supply is a big infrastructure um, benefit that we're going to have across the country should we be able to change people's behaviour. I think smart metering enables that because we'll be able to reduce the peak load and potentially move consumers' behaviour slightly differently. Okay, well, Mark and Brian, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you both very much for joining me. Thank you.